Hello, everybody. Welcome to Christians Against Religion. I'm Ethan. And he's Ethan. And I am done with Steve oh, already. <laughs> I need to say, and I am Ethan. <laughs> that, That's that, it. That would have been good. No, I'm Steve. He's Ethan. Yep. Uh, and we're here today with another reaction video. Now, me and Steve take turns with uh, having reaction videos. So in this one, it's my turn. Uh, this is stuff that you may not find funny, but me and my mom sit around and watch this for pure entertainment. So uh, we'll see what you think of it. And Steve hasn't seen this video, but she I definitely have. Here cause... Pause it again. Yeah, yeah. Well, here, pause it. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Okay, so this is a video called Crazy White People, or Crazy White <laughs> Church People, dot FLV. I had to skip the whole church, and it's just Crazy White People. <laughs> white people. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we see. I've never seen this before. Okay. Foolish virgins in will find They have here been left behind When they're empty vessels and they're left for me Crazy white people. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, the singing's okay. Not, not my flavor. Is he gonna do a double time? Now I'm gonna go start doing like a circle pit. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing it. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> To this song too? <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, that was a nice tuck and roll. Did you see that? That's great. Into the baptism pool too. That's good. Oh, he into the baptism pool for sure. Yo, what the heck? Uh, what I love about this is that the singers try not to laugh. Oh, dude. <laughs> we can hit, hit with the coat from the crowd. Sometimes I miss being Pentecostal just for this reason. You know what I wonder? What, what do these guys do after this uh, when they go to, uh, I don't know, Denny's or something? <laughs> I know. They they, just, are they like, just normal Made a people? mess of the place. Yeah. What do they do for jobs? I know. A guy's like, uh, yes, I work at Chase Bank, um, and on the weekends, I throw my blazer on at the pastor. A pastor. <laughs> okay, I have one major gripe with this. <laughs> What's major gripe? It's the most important gripe. Okay. The most important problem with this whole thing. That song sucks, dude. <laughs> These people are acting like it's the next greatest thing. That song is terrible. How do you dance to that? I mean, I, well, well, I guess they weren't dancing. They were freaking just running around. But yeah. that's like, come well, on. What if I funny about it is like, okay, so with like, with uh, with the Pentecostal church I grew up in, right? I'm trying not to make it a racial distinction, but it feels very racial to me. There's there's like a certain time to praise dance. Like there's not an official time, but like, you know, the pastor will start preaching his comma first and you're like, mm hmm hallelujah, amen. You know how it is. And, and then like then things will start to get excited and he's like and the lord said to moses down on mount sinai oh yes hallelujah can i get a praise in this house yeah and so the organ will start going and then there there's like when it gets so excited the pastor will be like oh i'm feeling the spirit in here and then like and then the music will guide you and so you'll start dancing to the music I don't know what <laughs> I, I don't know what all that is. I told you the greatest <laughs> sin was the music. It was terrible. It's ridiculous, man. And uh, yeah, that sucked. But you know what? It's a crazy time. It was the nineties. Uh, well, the I don't, church I don't know like if it was the nineties. Like, I mean, in terms of a biblical aspect, I don't find much like. And, and this is just my opinion. I know if you're Pentecostal, you're you're just as much of a brother as anyone else is, right? But I don't find much biblical support for. Uh, all this hooping and hollering and all that. The the one that's always brought up is the story that David danced out of his clothes in joy. Uh, that that's always what they go to, man. But you never read about it in the New Testament, man. I mean, there's a lot of things that David did that we don't use as a model, right? And so, uh, but 
in that case, you know, it, it is a bit different. I mean, David, I actually don't really know the context of the story, but it wasn't in church, you know, it was over God doing something and he danced out of his clothes of joy. And that's perfectly fine if that's well, the way you want to worship, though. Look, I don't have a problem with you guys running around and dancing in church. Uh, just don't uh, get mad at me when I laugh at you. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it is a bit ridiculous. I find it kind of mocking of the Lord sometimes because we, uh, I, I don't know whether they, these guys are genuine or not. I'm sure some of them are, but I, I do kind of find it mocking of God. I, I don't find it mocking. I just think we need to see it for what it is. Like at a, uh, I don't know. A metal show where people are dancing and jumping around and hooping and hollering. I, I'm sure that's how the, these people running around felt. They felt the energy and yeah, you know. So whatever. But yeah. it, it, I don't know. Yeah, just, I, I just take it for what it is. I think. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, for me, reverence is an important thing. And I'm, and again, this is this is uh, for me. Uh, Re reverence is an important thing with worship of the Lord and I and then from another sense and I I think you'll agree with me on this is that a lot of times you focus way too much on the emotional side and we don't talk about scripture right or when we talk about scripture we apply it in and help me context like uh, people always pr uh, promote uh, I believe it's Micah that says um, it, bring those tithes in the storehouse so that there may be food in my house and things like I will multiply you a thousand times what you give me, right? Uh, so we use scripture out of context or Jeremiah twenty nine eleven absolutely bothers me. Uh, but we always use these for an emotional context instead of diving into what the scripture actually means and learning what the scripture means, you know? Oh yeah, and that's why I said just take it for what it is. Yeah. It's no different than people running around dancing at a metal show or yep. uh, 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 whatever. You yep. know, it's just I don't know. Yep. Humans get excited. You're you're right, and that's right. what this is. Um, not a, uh, in my opinion, uh, sign of uh, Jesus's second coming with all the dancing and stuff. I don't know. It's just a bit silly. Mm -hmm. So, eh. I, I'm not going to condemn them for it but yeah it's just i don't know well you crazy world a lot of smells it, it is that's what michael scott says <laughs> <laughs> it is uh we we love our pentecostal brothers but this is this is objectively hilarious if you don't find this funny there's something wrong with you yep yep all right, all right. well we will see you guys here next time here on christians against religion